Good evening. I hope you can hear me. Uh, welcome to another Friday night, <laughs> Friday night out. Exciting stuff. Well, tonight I am um, uh, decided to get the tarp out again. I think I may have. Well, I don't know if I fixed the problem with the water uh, running down to the um, hammock, but I've given it a good try. I'll just show you what it is that I've done. So. I've put two little rubber washers there and there and I've sealed them with silicon so hopefully when the water runs down it hits them and then um, hopefully drips off but I sort of had a bit of flaw in my plan if this one's dropping onto here it's going to run in there so I'm going to have to probably marry them up together so they both drip at the same spot which I'll do that before um, before it starts to rain right so it's actually going to start raining about 8 o'clock um, and I'm on a little wood that is uh, sandwiched in between two rather large private estates uh, it is accessible land uh, clearly on the map uh, and there's a footpath just down yonder where people walk their dogs but it's um, I think I'm far enough away yeah so big estate there which is patrolled uh, they go around in buggies at night so some have a lot of money and another big estate over that side and this is like sandwiched right in between unfortunately as you'll hear in a second quite close to the, the old road. Well, anyway, another Friday night. Um, I'm gonna try something different tonight. Uh, be better my comfort zone, so when it starts getting dark a bit, I'm gonna get a fire on. It is to rain about eight o'clock, as I've said. Um, yeah, cars could be an issue. But luckily, it's quite a, quite a bit of a dip in the road and they can't see you. So I'm gonna try the hammock tonight. It's absolutely got to chuck it down tonight. Um, and it, let's see if it works. If it doesn't, I have got a backup plan. I have brought uh, the old um, one tigris cot bed with us. So if it does get a bit wet, just drop to the floor uh, and finish off the evening. I'm going to try something a bit different tonight. I'm going to do a bit of slow cooking. So I've got some short ribs, um, which are going to take at least four hours to cook. And what I intend to do is start cooking it for the four hours through the night. And I'm going to leave it in the pot uh, till tomorrow uh, and I'm going to take out the, the fat that should be on the top so I can do the sauce properly uh, and then for lunch I'm going to have short ribs hopefully touch wood yeah cracking little wood this it's pretty good just now but once the leaves come off it, it you, you can't go in it uh, temperature tonight um, it's looking to be about uh, three or four degrees it's going to get down to yeah, quite a decent little sunset. I'll just show you the little wood itself. So from that corner there to that corner down there, that is literally, and back to the point up there, it's like a triangle. That is uh, accessible land. As I said, it's, um, yeah, you know, the guys will go buying the buggies over there, just checking it out. So no, I'm not going to put the uh, fire on until last light which is coming up pretty soon in here. Yeah, so last light, I think it's about another hour. So I'm gonna get it all prepared, uh, get the vegetables and all that chopped up, uh, get the fire, a little fire going, ready to start the big one. We'll see how it goes. Um, see how it goes with the hammock, if I get soaked tonight, if the under blanket works that we never got a chance to, to check. Um, and if the new sleeping bag that I got, the uh, Croatian, winter sleeping bag as it does say winter I've got it translated as a winter sleeping bag so we'll see how toasty I am hopefully not kicked out at two in the morning like the last video right I'm gonna get wee fire going so I'll check in later on
that should fall off the bone tomorrow morning. Okay, and that's the, the, the rain well and truly on now, so we're going to get about uh, three to four hours of this this evening. It's a shame though, you can't hear all the owls and stuff going on. I have recorded some of the owls that were literally above us. It's quite quite funny when I when I set up the, the tarp and the, the hammock at the base of the trees, you've got the remains of the um, <laughs> the owls' dinners lying everywhere, little like mice and rats or whatever, skeleton birds all over the base of the trees. So this this little patch must be um, uh, a favourable place where all the owls I will sit. Yeah, so yeah, so it's gotta be rain next three, four hours, so we'll check out the the rubber washer to see if they're doing the job. But uh, I'm gonna let the fire burn all the way down. I'm gonna lower the uh, Dutch oven down just a wee bit to cover the, a bit of the fire. There's plenty of wood on there, plenty to burn. If it burns for the next hour, then tomorrow I'll probably just need to let it go for about another hour just to break the uh, the fats down in those uh, short ribs. Yeah, and then it'll be um, probably there'll be even beddy mashed potatoes and, and stick them on there. It does smell really nice, I must admit. Every now and again you get a little bit of steam up and off there and pass through. Settle the night, it's fine. The, the old DD tarp's brilliant. I don't know about the sleeping bag and I don't know about the um, under blanket, but we're going to find out soon enough. So I'll check it now and I will check in. Well, hopefully I'll check in the morning and everything will be fine, but if I have any issues with the um, hammock getting wet, then I will put the cot bed up and then I'll be on the cot bed, but I'll feed that back as and when it happens. So I'll check in in the morning. Right, so, definitely wet, this part here, definitely wet, dry. Yeah, wet there, dry on the other side, so that's worked that side. But we have a bit of a fail this side, so this is wet, and the only way I think it's got wet is because Yeah, so the water's came down through the strap and it's touched here and that's soaked through. So that's a bit of a bit of a learning for us. I should actually tie the strap back the way. But again, wet this side, not. Yeah, it's travelled down for here, that's dry. So it's dry there, wet here, because that's went over and touching. So that's a bit of an on-go. I shall remember that next time I'm out. So we'll start off with a wee bacon and a halloumi cheese roll and a cup of tea.
Right, so I'm going to go and get packed up now. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Um, I'm not going to ask you to, to subscribe because every time I do that I seem to lose subscribers. So yeah, just like the video um, and you can see how many people have seen it. Um, yeah, so next time we'll check in we'll be on the Wainwright coast to coast. So uh, take care everyone and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.